Hey everyone, it's Daniel Brother Bear Barris. In this next video, we're going to be setting up our network gateway. So let's get started. We're going to click on GW01, Control Alt Insert. We'll log in. We're going to set our rules for ping, inbound and outbound. We'll set our IP address to 192.168.25.1. Our DNS server, of course, is our DC. 25.10, we'll use Google's sec secondary DNS, 8.8.8.8. .8 we'll disable NetBIOS over TCP IP on both of our network controllers. Then we'll set our network connection to private. So from 20 up to 4, right-click, copy, right-click, paste. Give that a moment. And then we're going to wait 10 seconds here. So we'll do a 10-second time down. There we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. There we go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to join this to our domain under the member servers OU that we created in our previous video. So from 26 to 25, right click, copy, paste. Now remember, you'll see the domain admin account name here. So you'll want to change that to yours. So first.last.adm, that's your account that you created in the previous video. All right. Once we're at the Control-Alt-Delete to unlock, Control-Alt-Insert, of course, in AVM, press Control-Alt-Insert, Escape, Escape. We're going to go Tab to go Other User, Enter. Put your first.last dot ADM, add your password, press enter, and now we should be logged in. Give that a moment. At the diagnostic screen, press numlock and one for required. At sconfig, exit to the command line, 15. We're going to copy from 45 up to 40 like so, paste, let that group policy pull down and make sure it's good. Now, while that's doing that, I'm gonna go here to code and keep, so control and click one time on the link to follow it, and you'll see the code and keep blog. This is made by Brian Farnsworth, and he set up a script here to allow us to install the minimum requirements to do routing and remote. You'll see the remote access, direct VPN, routing, and then, of course, the IIS settings, and then some tools, GPMC, RSAT tools here, and then install the features, okay? We're going to do routing only, of course. So we'll copy from line 50 down to line 82. I've added these lines here to fix the remote access service to delayed auto start for our servicing timeout. There we go. Right click paste and away we go. It's going to install all those. We'll come back when we're ready to restart. I'll see you then. Okay. And we're back. All the services were good to go. It says here, you must restart server to finish the installation process. So we're going to, do that just that. Line 84, restart computer, press enter, and we'll come back when it's at the logon screen. Okay, we're back. So control alt insert, let's log in. There we go. Now I'm going to do a timeout of 60 seconds. Let that go. And when we come back, we'll set up our routing and remote. And I'll see you there. Okay, and we're back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start the remote access service, make sure it's good. We're going to install the routing only. Now, when you use this command, it's actually going to be looking for some of the GUI files. Don't worry about the warning that says it can't find a certain file. We're going to ignore that. So from 102 to 92, copy. That's a known issue in 
server core. So give this a second. There we go. You'll see it says system cannot find the file specified. Don't worry about that. Everything else is good to go. Now on DC01. So I'll show you here. If I ping YouTube, I should get a response back here. That's good. Okay. And on our DC, we're going to control to insert. We'll log in. I'm going to set the description now to the GW0 into a network gateway. I'll restart. And then once that comes up, we'll ping YouTube from our domain controller to show you that routing is working. Okay. So paste. Give that a moment to come up. Once it's at the logon screen, we'll do the same thing. We'll wait 60 seconds for everything to come up. And then we'll ping YouTube and verify. Okay, and we're back. So let's log in. Control Alt Insert. There we are. We'll do timeout 60 seconds. And I'll come back when that's ready. And here we are five, four, three, two, one. And we should be good to go. Let's see if we can ping YouTube now. Give that a moment. And there we go. Our routing and remote is all set up. I'm going to log off here. And log off here. And that's good for video three. I'll see you in the next one.